and welcome to Nerdy Bow. So this is this week's video. And I've got a couple of points. Um, new lighting situation. Comment what you think, if it washes me out a little bit too much or if it adds that extra bit of oomph. Because I'm not sure if I like it or not, if it washes me out, because, I mean, I am pale. Let's be honest, I'm playing hide and seek with the sun. Because that wasn't a stolen reference. Uh, or if it adds some quality to this video. I know I'm not exactly using the best setup at this moment, but I'm working on it. Anyways, so that was that. Um, I didn't miss last week for a lazy purpose. I missed it because I was in a musical. It was Susical the Musical. And that kind of leads into this week's video. My goals of the summer of 2017. My first goal is to be successfully is to do a successful job in a production that I'm part of now, a community theater group. And currently I do believe I'm the youngest member. So there's a lot to hold up to. I don't want to let anybody down. And I don't want to be that person who straggles behind. And it's a them sitting there wondering, why did we let someone so young into our group when they just did a phenomenal show a little over a year ago, a little under a year ago. So that's my first goal. That's happening in early June. My next goal is Beauty and the Beast. There's another theater group that I've been asked to go audition for that is doing a production of Beauty and the Beast the musical. And I really want to do a well job. And I really actually want to audition for Belle. I mean, growing up, I was a bookworm. I, I'm a nerd. Let's, let's be honest. So Belle was always the princess that I associated with the most and connected to the most. And to be able to play her in a show is kind of my life's dream. So in order to, I, I'm definitely going to audition for that. I mean, the worst that's going to happen is I audition and I don't get the part, which I would not be surprised or shocked by. It all depends on who's there and who auditions for what. I mean, I'm not exactly always the best. I obviously realize I have room to grow. However, I still want to try, which I feel like that's the best I can do. And if that's not it, I'm still going to do it because Beauty and the Beast, come on, the musical and actually being able to do that, of course. So, next is the studio musical. At my dance studio, there's a musical every summer, which would be ending right as Beauty and the Beast. It's be starting right as Beauty and the Beast ending. So I'd be able to do both and not have it overlap at all and not have to worry about trying to bounce back and forth between shows, which is going to be great because I'd rather be able to just do one show at a time and or have shows overlapping at the beginning and the end and not have it be almost completely coinciding. And I'm going to be able to do that with my little sister, which is going to be a great opportunity, especially since this is right before I'm about to leave for nine months in chunks at a time. Granted, I'll be back, but for the majority, I'll be gone for nine months out of the year. And it'll just be a really nice way to just spend some time with her. Next is getting college move-in ready. I'm going to college in the fall, and I have so much to get sorted out. I have housing. I have food plans, I have stuff I need to get, and my goal is to just have that successfully done before August begins, which to be honest with my procrastination is a huge goal, but I feel so if I really buckle down, I'll get it, which is the biggest thing on this list so far. And then comes down to everything I kind of mess up every summer. Uh, I When the summer hits, I become a hermit. I literally sit in my room sleeping or reading or sitting in the living room sleeping or reading. I mean, my summer doesn't really change. It just kind of depends on what room I decide to camp out in for the day. And I want to change that. This is a very, like, monumental summer for me. And I want to live it to the fullest. I want to see my friends more. I want to be able to play Cards Against Humanity with my friends on a, almost a weekly basis and have just group hangouts before we actually break up and go our separate ways in life. This is kind of our last chance to do this, and I feel really bad that I haven't done this for the years leading up to this, because now it's going to be over, and granted, yes, we can all meet together again, and it's not like we're all going to die or never see each other again and forget about each other, but the situation is not going to be the same, and we're not going to be as easily accessible to one another. And then that's just... Basing off that, I want to have more bonfires. I promise I'm not a pyromaniac. 
but I love bonfires. I love fire. I love watching it. I love smelling it when it's a wood fire. I love sitting next to it because I'm a heat leech. And just bonfires are my favorite thing for the summer. And I want to be able to do more of those, especially if I have my friends over and we can just sit and hang out and talk around the fire. I feel like that would be an amazing social time. So those are my six goals for the summer of 2017. I know I could have a lot more ambition to my goals, but I feel as though this is a good goal set for me. And while I may or add and or take away from it, I still feel like it's a good set of goals for me this summer. So that's the end of today's video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see even more, comment and subscribe because then you'll be able to see me every time I upload. And also I get some feedback, which I always desperately crave. So, also, don't forget to comment on the last video about Cards Against Humanity. Who won? I think I did. Wilson thinks he did. I mean, we all know that I did, right? Okay, so I'll be ending it there. See ya!